So we always have to start with the blood. We always have to repent for, for bitterness. Okay, don't let anybody tell you repentance is out of style. Repentance is a power that's going to give you victory, including victory for weight loss. Now, when God told me when I was on tour, you're bitter. You've been drinking the bitter water. It's caused your belly to swell and your thigh to rot. I spent the whole way home on the plane repenting. I repent for being bitter at this person, bitter at that person, bitter at that situation, bitter, all of it. But by the time I got home, I was ready for a miracle. I was ready for a miracle. I remember walking into my bedroom with my bags and everything and my belly's out to here and oh my gosh, I was just completely bloated. And I put my bags down and the Lord said, now I want you to lay on the, I want you to weigh yourself, lay on the bed and release the power of the Holy Spirit into your, into your soul and your body and you're going to lose weight. So I did exactly what he said. I got on my scale, I weighed myself. I was a buck 39. Okay. I went to my bed, I laid down, I put my hands on my belly and I said, Holy Spirit, you live in me. I release you right now to heal my soul of any wounds that came from me being bitter or traumatized all these years. I've already repented. I know God's cleansed me of those sins. And now, Holy Spirit, heal my soul, heal the wounds in my soul, and also heal my body. And I begin to command fat cells to shrink and die and to come out in Jesus' name. The prayer was 60 seconds long. My hands were like this on top of my belly. As I prayed for the Holy Spirit to go, all of a sudden, my hands went and dropped down underneath my hands. It was amazing. This, I mean, it happened right in front of me. You got to imagine how it feels to imagine how you would feel if you had your hands on your belly right now and you prayed and all of a sudden your belly just dropped down like that. So I jump up, I ran in the bathroom and I go, I lost weight, right? I jumped on the, on the scale and the scale proved it. It wasn't just my opinion. I started at a buck 39 just a minute before, and 60 seconds later, I weighed a buck 33. I lost six pounds in 60 seconds. That's supernatural weight loss. And that's what happens. This is one of the many things that you um, can walk into to get a miracle. Now we're about to activate. So just close your eyes, and I'm going to lead you through some prayers and some activations so you can get healed of bitterness and then we can break the curse of the bitter water. So Father, I do this right now as an officer of the court in the court and we come in to testify, Lord, that the accusations that the enemy has against us um, are going to be put under the blood of Jesus right now so that everyone that's watching can be healed and cleansed and forgiven of sin and all its in all its forms and its manifestations, including the bitter water that brings the curse that causes the belly to swell and the thigh to rot. Now, I just want you to pray after me. I'm going to lead you through a prayer. Just say, Lord Jesus, I pray in agreement with Katie right now that all the accusations against me of bitterness will be put under your precious blood. Say, I repent for being bitter at anyone in my life. Now, I want you to start saying that person's name or the people's names right now. Go on. While I'm praying for you, you start saying those names and you start repenting for being bitter at them right now. Go on. Thank you, Jesus. We repent for being bitter, for holding offense. We let go. We receive the cleansing blood right now. In Jesus' name right now, cleanse us all anger and bitterness and hatred right now. Thank you, Lord. Come on, keep saying those people's names. Repent for having hatred towards them, bitterness, offense. Ask it in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord to, to take the blood and to cleanse you of sin in all its forms and its manifestations. That's including the weight gain right now. And even repent for being bitter about situations and circumstances. Okay, maybe you're super bitter about the masks or the isolations or a challenge that you've been living, living through. Maybe you're bitter about work. 
or some, you know, some situation that's going on in your ministry or your church, pray this with me now. Say, Lord God, I also repent for getting bitter about any difficult, stressful circumstance or situation that I've been living through. I ask that you cleanse me of bitterness in all its forms in the name of Jesus. Keep praying with me. Say, I repent for drinking the bitter water that brings the curse. Cleanse me of that sin, Lord. Say, I don't want to drink the bitter water anymore. So heal my soul with your blood and with your Holy Spirit and his power so that every wound in me that is causing me to feel bitter and every wound that came from the traumas I've lived through can be healed now by the blood and by the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay, we'll just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. Put your hands on your belly. And start asking the Holy Spirit to fill you with power. It says that we will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. That word power is dunamis. It means excellent of soul. So ask the Holy Spirit to heal your soul with dunamis power right now. Say, Holy Spirit, fill my soul in every area where I become bitter or traumatized right now with your presence and your power, your dunamis power. Heal me now and make me excellent of soul. Come on, make sure you decree it with me. Say, heal me and make me excellent of soul. So that every wound that's causing the curse of the bitter water to be able to be enacted in my life, it's being healed now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want you to start praising the Lord. And then I'm going to come and we're, I'm going to break that curse of the bitter water off you. Start to praise him right now. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you that you died on the cross for us right now. In fact, you can even repeat after me if that makes it easier for you to have a focus point in your mind. You can just repeat along with me as I'm praying, okay? Just say, Lord, I praise you that you died on the cross. You hung on that tree to become a curse for me. Because cursed is anyone who's hung on a tree. Say, you took the curse for me, Jesus. I praise you. You took every curse with you to the cross. That includes the curse of the bitter water that causes my belly to swell and my thigh to rot. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you. I release your presence into this area, into my struggle with food. Jesus, heal me of unhealthy appetites in my soul. Jesus, Heal all the trauma that's in my soul from everything I've lived through. Jesus, touch me now and heal me of all bitterness and unforgiveness. Now, right now, I want you to start forgiving the people that you're angry at. Go, go. Forgive your husband. Forgive your kids. Forgive your, your boss. Forgive your pastor. Forgive everyone. Come on. I, I, if, if I could hear you, I'd want to hear you say it out loud right now. Start saying, Lord, I forgive them. I forgive every person that's ever wounded me. Every person that spoke against me. Every person that used me. Every person that ever was evil to me. Every person that hurt my feelings. Come on. My, my spouse. Anyone that, that, that spoke painful words to me. That gossiped about me. Come on. Start forgiving people right now. you got to let them go. That's part of getting healed of bitterness. We only have four minutes left, so it's really important that you follow along with me. Keep forgiving them right now. That's part of this process. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Somebody just said they took communion. If you got communion there, go for it. We're going to be doing that in tomorrow's class. So that's an important part of this. Thank you, Lord. We praise you right now. We praise you right now. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. You are healing people of bitterness right now, and they will lose weight. 
they will lose weight, their bellies will shrink, and their thighs or muscle atrophy will grow back. By the way, my legs, I've gained like an inch and a half of muscle back in my legs. I'm My legs, the muscle atrophy stopped, and then I started having my legs and my muscles increase. My arms are, they're increasing in size. I mean, I am, I have stopped the process of the belly swelling and the thigh rotting. Amen? Okay, now, are we ready? I want you to put your hands out. And I'm going to make some decrees over you. Okay, and just receive now. Don't pray. Just receive. Because you can't receive and transmit at the same time. Okay, ready? Father, in the name of Jesus, I put on the mantle that I have for soul healing right now and as an officer in the court. Lord, I decree that the blood of Jesus has wiped out the record of sin in everyone who's watching in their soul and in the court that the enemy is using to bring the curse of the bitter water against them and that their belly now will not swell and their thigh will not rot because Jesus, Jesus Christ, has already became a curse for them for cursed is anyone who's hung on the tree. I release the presence of Jesus and by his authority authority I command that curse of the bitter water to break now in the name of Jesus I command it right now signs and wonders I command it to break in the name of Jesus and I speak to every fat cell and I say shrink and come out of the body in the name of Jesus I command bellies to go down bloating to cease appetites to be under control right now in the name of Jesus I decree that the thighs will no longer rot muscles will increase and grow and they will get stronger and they will have control over their food in Jesus name now, now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.